Hello, I'm Ray, G4NSJ. Now, you know what it is when you go to a, an event, a steam rally, a radio rally or whatever, and you see the staff and volunteers walking around with their handhelds. Yeah, can you check the main gate? There's a bit of a traffic jam there, blah, blah, blah. So I've got my Bofang. Where are they? What frequency are they on? I don't know. Not that I want to talk to them. Would I do that? As if. <laughs> so... I bought this. This is the Shorecom frequency counter, SF103 frequency counter. Before I go any further, this isn't a review I'm getting paid for, right? I bought this. It wasn't given to me by the company. This is not a review at all. It's simply showing you what I bought and what I've done with it or what I can do with it. OK, so here's an example of what happened at one of the shows we were getting coffees and on the counter where the lady was serving us she had her bofang in a charger so it was off so i picked it up turned it on when she wasn't looking and it said channel three i thought i get the frequency it said channel three and i thought well that's a bit of a <laughs> nuisance had i had this with me i could have just picked it up ptt Got it on here. Frequency, CTCSS, DCS. Got the whole lot on here. And then on my one, type in the frequency in the VFO mode and I can hear what they're saying. But just because I've decided to do this video now, they're digging up, there's a gas man digging up the road. I don't know, pneumatic drills going off. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you a close up of this in a minute. When I first saw this advertised, I thought, is it going to have to be that close, you know, to the, the handheld to get a reading? Because I can't really, at say a, a steam rally or wherever I am, go up to a chap and, you know, he's on his radio and I'm going <laughs> in his face. I can't listen to them out there. I can't really stick in his face. <laughs> say, what are you doing? I wasn't sure about that. Anyway, I've tested it. And it works a good fair distance. I, I haven't measured the distance, but you know, I can be at one end of the garden and the hand, handheld at the other and up it comes. So that's pretty good. I don't really want to have to sneak up behind people and wave this <laughs> near their ear, you know, when they're chatty and they're on their walkie talkie. I haven't looked at all the functions yet. It comes with a, where's the box? There's a box, it comes with its own charger, which is unusual these days and a lead of course, and a clip that you screw on, that you clip it on you. And I won't do that, I'll, I'll keep it like that. If I, if I see someone chatting on the radio, <laughs> just have a secret look. One function I have found, that's that F2. You've got the frequency, it comes up, press F2 and it'll hold it. It just kind of freeze frame. So then you can walk off and you've got the info here and you can type it into your bow fan. So I'm very pleased with that. I've wanted one of these for years. A friend of mine bought one. Hello, Leon, if you're listening, watching. He bought one years ago. It was well over £100. And uh, he found out something local. He said, oh, I, I know the local repeater. There's a, I won't go what it is, local repeater on this building. And I said, yes, I know that. He said, yeah, but you don't know the CTCS tone. And I do. And he wouldn't tell me. He said, no, you'll fire up the repeater. Come on, would I? Would I sneak around firing up other people's little repeaters on their buildings? Of course not. Well, I need to test it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Anyway, I'll show you a close-up in a minute of the screen. Um, it was £44, by the way, from uh, Amazon. That included a delivery or whatever. Next day delivery, 44 quid. I've seen the exact one and other you know ebay and amazon they're all different prices and yet they're the same thing i found one yesterday 70 something pounds another at 50 so anyway 44 quid it's nice isn't it i like that anyway stop waffling i'll get the other camera and show you a close-up of the screen if i can right i don't know how good this is going to be can you see that i always have trouble with uh, light reflecting let's fire up this bowfang there we are four three eight four one twenty CTCSS 88.5 that fired up oh, that fired up a re local repeater <laughs> oh dear that'll annoy people hang on let's change frequency 
Let's see what this one comes up at. Here we are, 445. Now that's 446000, so that's 455999999. Anyway, there we are. Again, CTCSS 88.5 and the signal strength at the bottom there. If I move that down there, signal strength lowers a little bit. Also on the screen here, uh, it keeps here, it shows you the last frequencies it's it's had. There's 445, there's 438. Um, there's various things in the menu you can do. But isn't that fantastic? I mean, for 44 quid, it's amazing. It's fully charged at the moment. I'll turn that off. So where it said the frequency here was 445-9996 or whatever, I don't know whether that's slightly out or that's slightly out. I think it's this because I've tried on other other equipment a little bit more professional than this <laughs> and it is very it's spot on so I would imagine it's the Bofang that's slightly out frequency wise I and mean, that doesn't matter if you're trying to find out the frequency of something and it says for example uh, 452199 <laughs> well once you've got it on your radio to have, to have a listen it's probably 452 four, um, 200 or you know you know what I mean I'm waffling on you know what I mean comes in a nice box look at that so I'm really pleased as I say my main concern was I gonna have to shove it in someone's face while they're chatting on their radio well I haven't got to do that I can sneak around like 007 and find out what frequency they're on they do say on the instructions if you if you're gonna stick RF straight in there use it as a sort of bench type frequency counter be careful, don't put too much in there, you'll blow it up. Um, I mean, I'm not going to do that anyway. I have wondered what would happen. I might at some stage put my decent outside aerial in there, see what I can pick up locally. But of course, don't transmit on anything because you put too much signal in here and it'll go pop. I think that's all I need to say about it, isn't it? Yeah, if you get one, I'm sure you'll have fun with it. What I might do is... Uh, when I go out and about sneaking around people that are on their radios, uh, I might do a quick video of it. How about you know, a video of some bloke chasing me? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing with that? Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. <laughs> Bye for now.